Announced on September 18, South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration DAPA, said the country will invest $290 billion won, $218 million, for the development of an upgraded version of the missile. Korean Surface-to-Surface -surface Block 2 the project aims to improve the country's capabilities to target underground facilities. The investment is part of South Korea's ongoing efforts to strengthen its military capabilities. The country currently uses the Ur Thunder Missile Block I, also known as KTSSM, Korean Tactical Surface to Surface Missile. This missile was developed as part of Project Lightning as a countermeasure to North Korea's conventional artillery following the bombing of Yonpyeong Island. This missile has an operational range of 180 kilometers and is capable of penetrating several meters of earth or 1.5 m of concrete. It is guided by GPS and has an accuracy of 2 meters. Block 1, intended for fixed launch platforms and developed jointly with the Hanwha Group in 2019, is currently in service. An improved version, Block 2, is being developed to operate on various transporter erector launcher, Tell, platforms. The current Yu missile is powered by a single-stage solid booster and has a thermobaric warhead. The new missile is planned to be operated from a mobile launcher and should have a range exceeding 300 kilometers, which is claimed to provide a significant improvement in range and accuracy for targeting underground enemy installations, including long-range artillery stored in tunnels. DAPA did not provide information on the penetration capabilities of new or existing systems, citing operational security reasons. The State Agency for Defense Development will be responsible for managing the project, which is planned to be completed by the end of 2027. Various defense companies are expected to participate in the development of prototype models.